China Business Council, and he joins me now from Washington, D.C., and my goodness, have you been throwing some curveballs. Um, I, I want to talk first about what had been a buzzword for so long, right, this decoupling from China. Um, is that happening right now? And if it's not, what are your concerns in terms of when we see the Chinese data and the slowing economy? What are your concerns about its impact on the U.S. economy and beyond? Well, thank you so much, Paula. Firstly, uh, decoupling is not really happening. Indeed, U.S. exports were up 21% last year and 17% uh, the year before that. So exports are doing very well and uh, investment uh, has done very well. Now, the slowing of the economy and COVID uh, could change things. Uh, certainly, uh, the dynamic zero COVID policy that the Chinese government has instituted creates a huge amount of uncertainty, both for investors and for traders. And we're not certain how this is going to end up. And I want to ask you about that zero COVID policy. Certainly China shows no sign that they're lifting it whatsoever. Um, do you think the worst could be yet to come for businesses that rely, uh, that either operate in China and are having a hard time because they're trying to avoid those shutdowns or just trying to get any kind of merchandise out of China right now? Well, the Chinese are very confident uh, that their system, basically testing everyone every 72 hours or so, is going to work. And who's to say that that won't work? Uh, but there is a great deal of uncertainty that you're going to have clusters of breakouts, uh, mostly in urban centers, that are going to be very difficult con to control. And when there's a factory or a port uh, or a railroad uh, that goes down, uh, that uh, is going to have uh, or that could have severe implications. So there's, we're dealing with a great deal of uncertainty inherent in a virus uh, that keeps mutating and changing and for which uh, we don't really have adequate defenses. So right now, um, we're all swimming in uh, far too much uncertainty. Yeah, which must leave uh, businesses on edge, given the fact that you said there is no such decoupling going, going on now. I, I want to talk to you about U.S. tariffs on China. Still no movement on lifting them by the Biden administration. Are you getting signals that they will do it? And if so, how dramatically do you think that will affect U.S. business if they do it? Well, so we understand that there is a package that has been put together to modestly bring down tariffs on about $10 billion worth of goods. Uh, that's out of a total of $370 billion upon which uh, we have uh, uh, have have added tariffs. So about 3% uh, uh, reduction. Um, now, if uh, those uh, tariffs uh, were brought down, I think that the impact would probably be quite modest. Uh, um, probably felt only in the consumer goods area, which uh, the administration would uh, be targeting. I think that that is uh, that the president will have to make that decision uh, when he returns uh, from Saudi Arabia uh, sometime next week. Uh, I expect uh, that the decision will have only modest results and practically no results, uh, no impact uh, on inflation as it is far too small. And so you've made the salient point there. What can you say? Because you know there is a debate about this. I mean, U.S. workers are saying they want the protection that this kind of a trade war offers. And yet your group is saying that it is costing American consumers. What's the most salient example of that? Well, uh, according to the Treasury, uh, the average American family uh, is paying $1,300 more uh, per year uh, as a result of uh, the tariffs. Uh, and uh, so consumers uh, are, uh, you know, getting the brunt of this. Um, we believe that tariffs should come down, but uh, in response to market access improvements in China, well, we want to grow the economy through exports uh, to China. China is the world's largest import market, uh, and we believe uh, that American products, uh, many more American products could be sold there, uh, thus uh, 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 improving uh, market access going both ways, improving trade uh, and investment going both ways would be our uh, preferred solution. It will be interesting to see uh, exactly as we wait uh, 
Joe Biden's comments from Saudi Arabia, we now know what is top of mind for when he returns uh, to the White House in the coming days. Uh, thanks so much for joining us on this. Appreciate it.